It's PCS season, the time of year when soldiers are being relocated to different Army units, making the North Country a revolving door for soldiers and families. So you have a lot of folks at Fort Drum, uh, that are soldiers that are getting assigned to another uh, location, another installation. At the same point, you have soldiers from elsewhere, other locations getting assigned to Fort Drum. Many choosing to live outside the base, stirring up the housing market. It's a pretty busy season around here for us. We're constantly going out showing homes, whether it's rentals or you know housing to buy. And it's a seller's market, so houses and apartments are going quick. With interest rates, the price they are, you're still seeing uh, soldiers buying. You're going to see a lot of homes below 300000 going a little faster than above the $300,000 mark. Although there will likely be as many soldiers leaving as there are coming into the region this summer, soldiers and their families should be competitive if they're looking to buy or rent a house in the North Country. You're going to have to be on top of your game. You're going to have to have a realtor that knows everything that's going on and not be afraid to put that offer in and an aggressive offer if you're wanting that house. Competitive, yes, but having soldiers and families living in North Country communities makes it all worth it. The Fort Drum population alone, just in terms of the military and their dependents, you know, adds about 31,000 to our population. And I think that's one of the things about Fort Drum that's unique, at least what we hear a lot from the military families that when they come here, they do feel welcome in becoming part of the community. I think it's just a way that we're structured that helps that. Because although the North Country might not be where soldiers live forever, it can be home while they're here. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello.